morning everybody, what's good? Welcome back to another video. Goal of today's video is to put on that steering wheel right there because oh, I mentioned it in the last video but I didn't really uh, give you guys much context behind it. So it's a quick release steering wheel. I'll mention more in a little bit but we're currently right now going to get a car wash so just actually enjoy the ride for a little bit. Disgusting. Time to get clean. Hi, Cameron. Hello. Word. Windows down because I have no AC. <laughs> Not the water in my exhaust. All right. Put a steering wheel on. Look at my sweaty face. Gross. Oh gosh. And we are here over at Poppy Pedro's Subaru Garage. Still working on the name, but time to get on with the actual install. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, so because you're working with an airbag and the electrical system, always undo the battery so that you don't kill yourself. All right, so now that the battery is disconnected, we're gonna see that there are these two Torx bits on both sides of the steering wheel. Those are gonna be T30s, and those are gonna be holding this airbag in place. So we're gonna take that out now. Dude, it is so hot. Boom. Now we've got the airbag unbolted. You see these two bolts right here, one there, one there. And we are going to undo this connector and then put this entire airbag to the side. Ah! Hi. <laughs> airbag off. That clip is just super annoying. Sometimes it gets stuck, but now we got a 17 and we're gonna, okay. Well, he already, he already did the hard part for me. So now, yeah, this is the fun part. We're gonna- Have you ever had this off before? No. All right, cause this is gonna be a fucking task. So I've seen a couple of different like tactics on how to do this. People try to just pull it, which I mean, if you're gonna do that, make sure you don't undo the bolt all the way. Um, I'm gonna try one that I saw the other day where I'm just gonna smack it on both sides like this. I should have left that nut out guys so you can get that first face punch from the steering wheel light work that's cruise control stuffs i don't fucking have it anyway unplug it because you don't want to rip that out old janky wheel go on fun fact the actual clock spring is what returns the blinker most people don't know that they think it's a steering wheel i didn't know that either see Learn something new every day. So because I'm taking my clock spring off, we're gonna take off this bottom cover so we can get to all of the shit that's in here. And I'll be back with you guys in one second. All right, so. Jacob. What? Hi. All right, so to take this cover off, there's gonna be one bolt over here for the 02 to 03 at least. Uh, 04 to 05 and up is probably gonna be a little bit different, but more or less the same. Take that one bolt off, pulls right out. And we're gonna have to take the top off too. And there's gonna be, I just took it out actually, but there's gonna be one gold headed screw that comes right there. And then another one, I can't see that one. Another one on the other side. And then this will also pop up as well. All right, now I've got this popped up just enough where I can get to the bolts for the clock spring and I can undo that. And then we can cut the wires, leave myself a little bit of slack so that if I ever wanna rewire this back on, I have that op option. Hey, where are you going? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
this goes on to a male port. When it goes on to the male port, it pushes down this silver ring right here. Once that ring pushes down, all the ball bearings lock like that. And then that's how it attaches to the car. But Jacob doesn't have the male side. He has the female side, so he needs to get a male side. Correct. So now with that being said, this install technically is the exact same as it would be for a regular quick release. The only difference is I'm just doing a short hub, not quick release right now. So I'm gonna add that feature a little bit later. All you do after you take all of that stuff off and I, in this in this instance, cut off my airbag and everything. He was being lazy, he wouldn't change his mind. I just had to do it, sorry people. I'm not going back. So yeah, once you cut all that off, you kind of just tuck it out of the way and literally you just put this bolt right back in tighten it down and for me I'm just gonna tuck all of these kind of just nice and neat in there and then really just put everything back together and that'll be the finished result and boom just like that we've got the entire wheel on it's that's not going anywhere honestly the only like Pedro said before the only difference between this and an actual quick release is the actual uh, little locking ring thing that where is it oh here it is the only difference between the short hub that I have on here and this right now is that this, like I said before, uh, needs a, a male end that I don't have. This is it. I don't have horn or airbag anymore, so it is what it is, because, you know, race car. But I like the way it looks. It's not too crazy deep, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a shorter video, but quick release is on. Interior is slowly but surely coming together, little piece by little piece. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry it looks sweaty and gross, but it's disgusting outside. There's not much I can do. Peace out, and I'll see you on the next video.